Hi, I'm Hope Harley, president of the board of directors of the Bronx Children's Museum. I'm a mother, grandmother, and I lived and worked in the Bronx for over two decades. I believe that our ultimate goal is to help children in the Bronx understand their place in the world and also their responsibility in the world. We want to inspire them to learn about where they live, the world they live in, the neighborhoods they live in, the, the block they live on. We want to make certain that they know that they have a place in this world, that they have a responsibility to take care of where they live. I'm Carla Precht, and I'm the proud executive director of the Bronx Children's Museum. Unlike most museums, we decided to start our museum by actually learning about our community and creating programs. For six years, I've been working with a very large network of people, many community members from the Bronx, environmentalists, educators, artists, children themselves, and people who care about the Bronx in understanding not only what the Bronx needs and wants in a children's museum, but what makes people inspired. At this point, we have eight programs and we see 12,000 people a year. Our programs are all over over the Bronx. Hi, we're from the Bronx Children's Museum, and we'd like to welcome you to Rivers on the Go. Our Rivers on the Go program is in our bus. It contains a interactive prototype of an exhibit that we're going to have in our building, and the exhibit is of the Bronx and Harlem River. That bus goes to about um, 25 sites every single year and 25 festivals where we bring not only the exhibit but also arts activities related to learning about the rivers in the Bronx and specifically the habitats of the Bronx and the different ways in which you can actually access the rivers. In the case of our Green Arts program, which is an after-school program in Morrisania, the principal came to us with a need. He told us that it was really hard for the children in the Morrisania area to actually access healthy foods and that it wasn't always clear to a child what actually is a healthful food. So we came up with a way in which we could teach children about healthful living and healthful foods by using the arts. Dream Big is a summer arts enrichment program that grew into a all-year after-school program. The Dream Big program was designed to inspire children to learn about important people in the Bronx as a way to help them feel good about themselves. There, we take important people, places, and things in the Bronx. These well-known people include Justice Sonia Sotomayor, Sonia Manzano, and Bobby Sanabria. One of our programs is called Art Spot. On a regular basis, we'll bring it, be bringing three artists every single weekend for six weekends in August and September to the children at Mitchell Houses. The reason that we chose to have a program specifically for this group at this time of year is because a lot of children have absolutely nothing to do on the weekends, and we thought that why not bring the arts to the children as opposed to try to get the children to the arts. <laughs> Little Friends of the High Bridge is basically a history program, and what we've done there is we created educational materials that we shared with uh, the schools. We also provided an entire curriculum for the teachers in the schools, the eight schools and Highbridge, and we also created our own book. We decided that it was really important to have a storybook, and Sonia Manzano, who had been a longtime advocate for the Children's Museum, offered to write the book for us. I was raised in the Bronx, I lived in the Bronx until I went away to college, and I never knew that there was a high bridge, a pedestrian bridge in the Bronx, and I know about it because of the Bronx Children's Museum. I decided to write the story of the high bridge, and I gave the high bridge a little face, you know, like it's talking to you. And I'll read the first page because I really like it. Everything and everybody has a story with some happy parts and some sad parts. This is my story. I am the high bridge and my story begins with water. On top of that, we have an exhibit in our bus that we brought to all of the uh, schools 
And um, this past spring, we actually brought the children on guided tours of the High Bridge. All our programs are aligned to the core standards, but most of them, I would say, are very unlike what you would see in a school. We really strive to make our programs fun, that's number one, and two, interesting. We need to make sure that everything that we do really has some meaning in the life of a child. While we are creating and running our programs throughout the year, we are at the same time developing our site. We're right near the Yankee Stadium on the Harlem River overlooking Manhattan. It's beautiful. The site is owned by the city and the Bronx Children's Museum is developing the site with the city. The building is slated to open in 2017. We're working with the architects to make sure that the space is free-flowing, uh, made of only natural materials, and allows the visitor to feel not only that they are in the midst of something beautiful, but that they want to move on through the space. From the moment that a child enters our lobby, we want them to feel like this is their place. They'll enter into this beautiful space that won't look or feel like any place that they've ever been before. It's almost a fine arts museum meets children's museum. We really are going to work very hard at drawing a bridge between what is in our museum and what is in the Bronx. When children leave our space, we're hoping that they won't just feel like they had a great time and it was a lot of fun, but they're gonna to wanna to come back again. That they feel that this is not only a place that is interesting to visit, but it really belongs to them. And that it helps them understand their world and it helps them connect with their neighborhoods and it helps them connect with the wonders of the Bronx. You never know what's going to inspire a child. To expose them to things that they might not have the opportunity to be exposed to elsewhere, is just such a wonderful gift. Here we are in the Bronx. Here are our children. We've come a long way. Let's keep the momentum going and engage those minds.